There was a great interest in atmospheric railways in the mid-1800s. It offered an alternative to the smoke, noise and danger of sparks of steam trains. Atmospheric railways required an airtight pipe laid between train rails. A travelling piston inside the pipe was connected to a rail carriage above through a slit in the pipe. Air pressure was delivered from a pump house. The piston was moved through air pressure, which in turn moved the carriage it was attached to. The problem for atmospheric railways was minimizing leaks from the slits in the pipes. Leather flats covered the pipe slits to reduce leaks, but they were damaged by weather and local fauna. Dublin and Kingston Railway Company wanted to extend its line to Dockey. It chose an atmospheric railway which opened in 1844 and named Kingston and Dockey Atmospheric Railway. The line ran 35 train movements daily and 4,500 passengers travelled weekly. So the system was driven by workers in the pump house who knew little of what was happening at stations. While the Kingston and Dawkey Atmospheric Railway ran for 10 years, the ultimate cost won the day as it was more expensive than steam. Kingston and Dawkey Atmospheric Railway was another innovative Irish transport system that attracted interest from leading engineers of the day.